<clears throat> Notice here, the moment you hear a truth from the word of God, the power or ability to bring that word to pass is present. The believer must then decide to act upon that word as if it were true to them. You can agree with the word all day long. You can say, yep, that's true. Word by his stripes, I'm healed. Yep, by his stripes. But until you decide, you know what? That's mine. That's, that, he's talking about me. By his stripes, I'm healed. See, and, until then, as long as you sit there and say, well, you know, that's true. Yep, by his stripes, I'm healed. By his stripes, I'm healed. Yep, that was true. Yep, that's what the word says, and I'm agreeing with it. I'm in agreement. No, you're not in faith. You're in mental assent. You are mentally agreeing with the word. Now, what that means is here's usually how you can tell the, the difference. Mental assent usually does not have action with it. Faith has corresponding actions. And so whenever you're in faith, you will not only believe that word, but you'll say, this is true to me, and then you will act like it's true. If you just agree with it, yep, by stripes I'm healed, yep, I'm blessed, yes, uh, I'm prosperous, you know, in the name of Jesus, he, he supplies all my needs, all that, as long as there is no action there's no faith. Faith is action, okay? Believing, I-N-G, means what? Action. Something is happening. And so until you act, now you can believe in prosperity, but in t and now listen carefully. <clears throat> when you believe in prosperity, if you're not being generous, you don't believe in prosperity. Right. Why? Because the generosity is the corresponding action that goes with prosperity or, or actually releases prosperity in your life. That's the way it works. So healing is the same way. If you believe, you say you believe in healing, then you actually have to practice it. You actually have to minister healing to people and walk in healing yourself or at least be moving that direction or you don't believe in it. Agreeing with it does not get you healed, right? Sitting and confessing it all day doesn't get you healed either. See, I can, I can believe he's Lord, because he, now get this, he's Lord whether you believe it or not. Amen. He's just not your Lord until you make him your Lord. Does that make sense? Yeah. So it's the same thing. You can sit there and confess Jesus is Lord all day long and still not be born again. Isn't that something? See, that's mental assent. That's, that's an agreement. And it's a true fact. And Jesus is Lord. But you have to say, Jesus is my Lord. Now, when you say he's my, see, anybody can say Jesus is Lord. But when you say he's my Lord, that means what you're telling people is, I obey him and I do what he says. And if you don't do what he says, then you can still say Jesus is Lord because he's still Lord, just not of you. Yeah. 